Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a review on the Dometic CF50 and the Dometic CF40. In the background there, we had the old uh, Power Chill Coleman unit, 40 quart unit, like you buy out of the truck stops. Thermoelectric keeps it about 40 degrees cooler than your outside ambient temperature, which is okay, but a little bit iffy if you're storing uh, sandwich meats or anything like that. And possible if you want to freeze anything. This is the next level stuff here, guys. Um, we'll start out here on the right. This is going to be pretty much the same dimension-wise on the outside and the inside as well as the, uh, the Coleman thermoelectric cooler. I think it's like an inch taller. So pretty much anywhere you can fit the Coleman at, you'll be able to fit this at. We got our controls right here on the end, real simple. We got an error feature right here to tell you, bam, hey, something happened, this cut off. You might want to check on uh, whatever you got stored in this. It could be spoiled. Um, having any problems with this, we bought the CF50 at the Iowa 80. Ran off the cigarette lighter adapter and it actually froze stuff, guys. We put some bottled water in there and it froze it. It took it down to freezing uh, within under, you know, about a half an hour, 40 minutes there. It was down to freezing in this thing. Um, put the bottled water in there, got it out, you know, at the end of my shift and it's just rock solid. You could beat somebody upside the head and knock them out with that. So, yeah, these things do work. You can get the, uh, Cigarette lighter adapter, they come with that, and then you get the you know, wall adapter, you can get that. Uh, the CF40 came with it, this is the IO80. Uh, for some reason it did not, I'll be probably ordering one of those. But let's just move right along here. Um, bottom side right here, we're gonna take a look. You wanna make sure that you got some ventilation on the ends here in the units. Because that's where your Dan Foss compressor, and that's Dan Foss compressor, a uh, German compressor company, and they make a really good uh, refrigerator freezer compression unit. And you can also get these serviced any place that services the Dometic. These are actually portable fridges for RVs and for camping. That's what this is for. But we can use them in a big truck as well. Um, you know, a lot of guys out here have. Um, up the I-80, uh, sales guy out there, guy behind the counter selling us. He knew a guy when he's for 10 years and it's still going. So Dometic. Uh, Dan Foss Compressor, they get really good reviews. You can look them up, look, Google them, look them up, check them out. Uh, they just get really good reviews, man. Really great product here. Um, we'll take a quick look here now at the end. And you can screw in. They got a handle kit, a handle kit that comes with these on both of these. You can screw it in. So if you wanted to uh, set this somewhere and you needed to put a motorcycle tie down strap to that, you could. We're not going to be doing that on ours, and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Uh, right down here, we got our plug. We got our two different uh, plugs right here on the bottom of the unit. That's for, uh, you know, 100 to 240 volt uh, AC and then 12 volt, 12, uh, 24 volt uh, DC current there. So it plugs right in and you just plug and play into whatever it is that you're, you're going to be running this off of. Now, moving on up here, we'll take a look at the inside of this. Now, before we do though, I'll tell you the lid here actually locks. Nice locking lid here. You got a class, you have to open this, open this up. You got a seal here, runs a full length of the, of the door there on both of these um that's going to keep things you know nice and cool there inside we have right here uh, led light pressure sensitive turns on when you open the door all uh, right here we get this is nice this is a nice little feature here so if you want to take this out of the truck your rv or whatever and you're leaving you know like the next day um you can take this out there the night before plug it in let it get started cooling down and you could already have your food you know ready to go in this nice little uh wire rack right here and it also keeps stuff from freezing. If you put something in there, it keeps them sticking to the side of the uh, the freezer uh, refrigerator unit here. You got this little divider right here, so you know you can, you can put that in there if you wanted to divide the space up in this as well. Roughly about the same space in this as you'd get in a Coleman uh, 40 quart thermoelectric cooler, but this does freeze. You can keep ice cream into this. These will go down to zero degrees. We run them. Uh, the CF50 tested it for about a week on the road, and it just it was just spectacular, unbelievable. Plug it in a cigarette lighter, and you can freeze stuff. Um, moving on to the end here, we'll take a look at the big CF uh, 50. CF 50. We got a locking clasp here on this one. The nice thing on CF 50, the CF 40 here, your door opens one way on it. Now that's okay so long as you got space for you know to breathe on in here. It's it's okay for us because going in the front seat of the truck, just like the old uh, Coleman unit did. You see a lot of guys out there. It's like a motorcycle tie strap running around your seat. Tie it down, maybe throw a seatbelt across or whatever, just so it's okay with the DOT, so it is secured inside the truck. Um, you get in trouble from it, it's laying up in there. So running motorcycle tie down strap around that, and you get the handles on the end. You can go that way, or you can go around it. You know, is what we're gonna do. And then the top, you know, locks here. So you could shake this upside down, and there's nothing gonna come out of it. Let's jump down here at the end to the CF50. Uh, same thing on the end here, you can get the, the handle kit to go on that. We're not going to be using the handle kit, and I'll show you why. Again, keep putting that off. We'll show you why here in a minute. 
Um, same thing with the controls here. You know, nice, nice, simple little control panel right here. Real easy to read, real easy to use. Um, on off, you can set it up and down, and then the output right here it tells you exactly what temperature the unit's at. And then there's an error, error alert right here. It'll tell you, hey, something's happened. Um, you lost power or whatever, and there's been an error. So you might want to check on whatever it is that you got frozen inside of this. Both these units do have uh, emergency cutoff, so they won't drain your batteries. So that's another nice feature. Um, inside of CF50 here, just like the CF. 40 we got the nice wire basket with the divider you put it down the end you can move it down the end right here um doesn't really matter you can leave it out just however you want to divvy it up and then on the inside we also have this nice it's a bit bigger great until bigger um wire basket here so you can take that in the house night four freeze it up turn the unit on you know before you get ready to go a couple hours before you get ready to go and bam take it out set it down you're good to go Locking top on this as well, just like the other one there. You gotta hit the class to unlock it. And the door is reversible. Um, I think we, we got into that just a minute ago. The door is reversible here on the CF50, or it is not on the CF40. Um, this is, you know, a good bit bigger unit here. You can get the uh, measurements, whatnot, off the website. We can run over here and take a quick look at it. Actually, right here, CF50. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be 24.8 inches long, 19 inches high, 14 inches wide. Uh, CF50 52 quarts, and then they have you know, they have them in several different sizes here. CF18, that one's a 19 quart. The 25 holds 24 quarts, and the CF35 right here holds 33 quarts. And then the big ones, the really big ones here, are the CF80 and the CF110. Respectively, the 80 holds 85 quarts, and then the 110 holds 113 quarts. So what we're going to be doing with these is freezing up some meals at home and taking them on the road with us and using our microwave to. Uh, it's auto's out, you know, we get ready to go. Go ahead and cook it. We have one of the uh, vacuum vacuum seal uh, food savers that you can get at Walmart so we can cook food, vacuum seal it, freeze it, throw it in the freezer unit here, and we'll be able to eat a lot healthier, say, at the truck stops. Uh, the CF50 was around 600 bucks for this one, about 500 here for the 40. That's kind of expensive, but you're going to be able to sell at the truck stops. You're not going to have to spend the money in there. Um, you'll be able to eat a lot healthier. You'll be able to take, you know, your wife's good cooking and bring that on the road with you and keep it for weeks. You know. Now, the reason I'm not going to be putting on also the uh, <clears throat> handles on the end of this, we got these right here. You can buy these extra. I don't remember exactly what these cost, but you can get these extra. They carry them on Amazon as well. Is a cover here, a protective cover, and it's also insulated, so it makes it easier to, you know, to keep things frozen or cold in here if you were like outside camping. But for us, we're on the truck, the reason we really want it was because they had the D rings here on the end. So we're gonna run you know, D-rings to this, wherever you want to put it at. We got both covers, you know, for both freezers here, and we'll be able to take the uh, D-rings and strap it down. And then also, since the uh, CF40 is gonna be sitting up in the front of the truck, this right here uh, it keeps us, the sunlight hits this. It's not uh, conductive to uh, to the sunlight, so it keeps it cool. Like um, I forget what they what they call the material there, but it'll keep it cool. So if it's sitting on the seat, it's not having to work as hard with the sunlight hitting on it. If you you know park your truck and leave it sitting in the sunlight out there. And like I said, we've tested the CF50. I don't see any reason whatsoever why the CF40 won't perform, you know, exactly as well. So, got this at the Iowa 80. Loved it so much. Bought one of these from an RV supply shop. Um, you can get these on Amazon. Just shop around on the internet. You can find sales. They'll run sales. So just you know, shop around. Get the best deal you can, guys. And um, I'm really looking forward to using these as opposed to the old thermoelectric cooler and the heat pipe technology um, refrigerators. We're probably going to get another heat pipe fridge on the truck just for keeping, you know, orange juice, soda pops, and some ice water cool back in the sleeper. But um, this right here, big CF50, is going to go, you know, on the uh, top bunk. Gotta fit up there, and then this right here in the front seat. And you solo guys, you probably wouldn't even need nothing but about you know CF40 throw in the front seat or in you know in the back of the sleeper there, wherever you might have a uh, one of the Coleman thermoelectric coolers. So yeah, highly would recommend these. Loving them, looking forward to using them in 2014. And hey guys, this is Mike with One Happy Trucker. You should really look into getting one of these, uh, you know, especially you know if you're out there on the road for a long time. Uh, like 500 bucks there, guys. 500 bucks. You're eating old ladies cooking, and you're staying out of the truck stops. Y'all take it easy, keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down.